Hey, what's up guys? It's Tariq from SmartBikeTrainers.com. So you got your Smart Trainer and you're hearing about all these different modes. You got Level Mode, you got Passive Mode, Sim Mode, Erg Mode. It's so confusing. I was confused myself. But let's talk about all these different modes and try to explain each one and when to use it. So let's get to it. Level mode is interesting because a trainer will try to create a similar riding experience as when you're riding outside and it follows the standard resistance curve as you see on the screen. Uh, so when you're outside and you're riding, the faster you go, the more wind will hit you, the more drag create results in uh, more resistance. Same thing with level mode. It will, the more the faster you go, the more resistance you'll experience. And a smart trainer, when it's connected to power, it's usually on level one or two. Wahoo kicker, they're usually on level uh, to when they're plugged in. And level mode is great because I can use level mode using my Garmin Edge or Wahoo Element Bolt. And I like to use level mode when I'm doing an FTP testing or when I'm outside and I do not want to connect to a software like Zwift or Trainer Road. And I just want to be able to adjust that resistance uh, myself using gear or cadence to reach my target walk. So with resistance mode, you have full control over the, your trainer resistance. Uh, just like the spin bike uh, that you see at the gym, they have that knob to adjust resistance, so adjust the braking system on the bike. Same thing with resistance mode, you have full control over the braking uh, on your smart trainer. And uh, unlike a level mode, with resistance mode, your resistance remains the same regardless of your speed. So if you wanna adjust that resistance, you just need to uh, adjust the resistance within the app and it can go from zero to 100%. In slope mode, just like the name, it basically the trainer will try to simulate a, the a gradient for you. So if you put it on a 10% gradient, then it will try to simulate the resistance that you'll experience when you're going up a 10%. This is where your weight matters. Uh, so make sure you input your weight correctly in the app or uh, in the software like Swift, for example. Passive mode, this mode is available uh, within the Wahoo Element or Element Bolt. This is when you're basically telling the bike computer, let go of the trainer, just record the data from the trainer, and I want a software like Trainer Road or Zwift to control the resistance on the trainer. So basically the bike computer is just recording data from your trainer and does nothing with the resistance itself. So that's passive mode, and it's only available on your Wahoo Element or Element Bolt. mode this is a course simulation mode and in Zwift you are basically simulating the course that you see on Zwift so if you see a 10% grade you are feeling the resistance of a 10% uh, grade if you're on uh, dirt road or wooden boards you're feeling the resistance from that dirt road and this is where your bike selection your weight your riding position and and things like that uh, play a factor into calculating your speed based on your watts so in Zwift, same mode kicks in when you have your smart trainer uh, paired as a controllable trainer and you are just free riding or group ride or you are doing a race. Workout mode, this is another mode that is very uh, common to use. This is where things can get a little bit confusing for some. And basically when you are in your workout mode in Zwift, uh, Zwift will not simulate the course for you anymore. So it basically will flatten out the road for you and uh, just so you can achieve your workout. And if you are in workout mode and you have erg mode uh, turned off, and we'll talk about erg mode in a minute, uh, Zwift will put your trainer on slope mode. And basically you are riding a certain slope and you can adjust that resistance by either adjusting the slope within the Zwift companion app or uh, changing gear on your bike. Now, if you have erg mode turned on, and this is where we're talking about erg mode now, this is where the trainer and the software Zwift will try to work with you to get you to your target watts. So for example, I'm gonna ride my bike here. So just to explain erg mode, uh, here I'm using uh, Zwift on Apple TV, and I'm just gonna pair my uh, trainer as a controllable trainer and for sim mode and erg mode and any of these modes to work on Zwift you need to, to uh, pair your smart trainer as a controllable trainer and uh, so I'm just gonna go in here and select workout so basically with erg mode the uh, Zwift and the trainer uh, will try to uh, get you to reach your target watt uh, 
within the certain block or interval and uh, regardless of your cadence so if you're pedaling at 100 rpm it will keep you at your uh, that watt target so for example here <coughs> it's asking me to warm up at 93 watts so I'm just gonna start pedaling all right so I'm just pedaling here I'm just gonna skip to the next block and I'm just gonna keep my cadence around uh, 80 rpm so as you see on the left side it's asking for five minutes at 200 watts so it's gonna try to keep me at 200 watts so I'm gonna just keep my cadence around 80 rpm and you'll see the watts fluctuate so it's gonna go up by 510 watts down 510 watts but I will try to keep you at 200 watts regardless of my cadence so I'm gonna increase my cadence so about 100 rpm now see the watts go up but then it go back down to your target watts so eventually when you look at the whole average for that five minute duration it should be around 200 probably 205 somewhere around that range so the fat the smoother your pedal the smoother your watts and i'm just breathing hard here now if i drop the watts to I'm just gonna drop it to about uh, 60 rpm you'll feel that resistance change on this and you're gonna feel that resistance change just to keep you at 200 watts this is great for like if you're doing low cadence high resistance type work so now I'm just pedaling at 60 rpm but there's enough resistance that I'm feeling to keep me at 200 watts So I'm just gonna skip to the next interval. Now this is 145, five minutes at 145. And it's just gonna get me to 145. Now I'm pedaling at 65 RPM. So if I just take it up. Well like this few seconds it went up to 300 watts because I'm increasing my cadence like I'm going up to now to 120 115 but it brought me back down quickly to my target watts now I'm gonna go skip to the next interval 250 watts it's gonna get me there apparently at 100 rpm now I'm already there, 250, 249, 244. As long as you're keeping your cadence consistent and smooth, you will stay there. Same thing if I just drop my cadence. I'm gonna drop it all the way down. It's just gonna, that resistance just gonna increase. And you kinda do not want to do that, especially at higher watts because you're gonna reach a point where you're just not able to pedal anymore and just stop pedaling. You're just gonna make you stop pedaling. Like right now, you just feel really hard to pedal. It's a lot better to keep that cadence up when you're in energy mode. Uh, these are all the modes that you will see. And with erg mode, Within Zwift, you can access erg mode. You can also turn it on and off using the companion app. So within the Zwift companion app, if you decide you do not want to stay on erg mode, you wanna just turn it off, you can just press this button, the erg, the erg on button, and it will switch to incline mode. So now you can just adjust the incline basically just adjust the resistance and you'll see that bar up there next to your watts and it basically what it's doing is just switch you to slope more than it's just increasing that resistance put it back on erg mode and when erg mode you don't need to bother 
uh, adjusting your gear or worry really about the resistance the trainer will just follow the workout and set you at your target watts regardless of your gear selection regardless of your pedal and the higher this is where the higher end trainers tend to work better and have a smoother line and respond a lot quicker to your cadence changes than lower end trainer for example all right so this is it hope you enjoyed this video if you and i'm sweating now uh, but if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button share it and uh, subscribe and i'll see you in the next one